Praise Yahuwah. Oh, I was able to get this, um, or fix my volume settings before I got on here. Um, I usually forget after I do a study on uh, Nazarene life. Um, I was very happy to, <coughs> I was very happy to be able to host, uh, or co-host a meeting with, um, one of, um, one of my brothers. Um, thank you, brother. And, um, I am, tonight I'm going to be, um, I'm just very, very, very uh, overwhelmed with how much uh, schoolwork there is with this Christian worldview class because there's just, there's a lot of notes they make you take and a lot of different things in the textbook that they make you do. Um, I just, so, um, like, and I don't know how to condense stuff if I'm just reading out of a textbook, like an online textbook or an, e or an e book. So it's, it takes me a lot longer to write, take the notes. Like it takes me like three full days to get through notes. And I, all the other classes I took, um, I didn't have to really go into the textbook that much. I like, I, I have a lot of knowledge on this, on psychology already. So I, it didn't take me as long to take the notes either when, when I did take notes, but, um, just give me a moment here. I'm going to be trying to find out what number video we are on for um, Nimrod's Secret Identity, The Greatest Conspiracy on Earth. We are on video number 23. Um, and I will be doing, um, I'm not going to be doing as many videos tonight because um, I have so much work to do and uh, my, my husband's still at work. So... Um, I will be doing one on Tobit and one for Nimrod's Secret Identity and possibly one for Yahuwah's Redemptive Story. Um, I hope you guys understand because I, ha I do have a, I have like, I think 11 or 12 more pages of notes to take. And the in, when I started this morning, there was like 18 pages and I have a study guide to fill out. And I have um, some video to watch. I think they want me to read a few different scriptures. Um, they want me to read their version, but I think I'm going to read mine. Like that's what I usually do is just read my version. I'm sorry, I'm I'm rambling, going on a tangent. <laughs> Anyways, um, we are on Origin of the Word God. The Encyclopedia Americana 1945 says this under the topic God. God. Common Teutonic word for personal object, object, huh, of religious worship, formerly applicable to superhuman beings. Bella Bean, what are you doing? Of heathen myth. Come here, come on. Or on conversion of Teutonic races to Christianity. Term was applied to supreme being. My apologies, guys. Um, I had to pick up my baby Bella Bean because she cannot be making messes. I gotta, she's got to wait until her dad gets home so she can go outside. Okay, so the primary superhuman being um, of all heathen mythology is, can you guess? Nimrod, Genesis 4, 26 through 5, 1. At that time, men began to call on the name of Yahuwah. The text uses a singular, singular form, Shem, or name, not Shemoth, meaning names. It, it shows the reader the name Yahuwah. Most translators destroyed it for us. Exodus 3, 13 through 15. <laughs> Roscoe, it's just the thunder and lightning. Moshe said to Allahim, Suppose I go to the Yashraelites and say to them, The Allahim of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? Then what shall I tell them? Allahim said to Moshe, Ahaya, Ahaya, Asher, Ahaya. This is what you are to say to the Yashraelites. Ahaya has sent me to you. Allahim also said to Moshe, Say to the Yashraelites, Yahuwah, the Allahim of your fathers, the Allahim of Abraham, the Allahim of Yitsha, or Isaac, and the Allahim of Yaakov, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, the name by which I am to be remembered from generation to generation. Exodus 5 2. 
Pharaoh said, Who is Yahuwah that I should obey him and let Yasharal go? I do not know Yahuwah, and I will not let Yasharal go. Let my people go, right? <laughs> we are to be baptized in the name, not names, not plural, singular. And we see at Acts 2, that singular name is Yahusha, meaning I am your deliverer. The root Yasha, deliverance, is seen in the Sha and Shua endings. Emmanuel, Allahim is, Allahim is with us, seems to be the one exception. This word seems to be used as a personal proper noun in three places. Yasha Yahu 7.14, 8.8, and Mati Yahu 1.23. This name behaves somewhat like Melchizedek, a descriptive title given to the king of Yebus, also known as Salem, a, a city later to become Yerushalayim. Emmanuel is not the covenant name which Yahuwah has proclaimed to be his name. The text says his name Yahuwah will be called Emmanuel. His name, Yahuwah, is associated with Allahim is with us. Compare the personal name, James Brown, with the associated reputation that is bestowed on him. G-O-D, -fa Father of Soul. In this context, we can see how Emmanuel is what Yahuwah's name is called. Just as the G-O-D, Father of Soul, is what James Brown's name is called. It's his notoriety, or giving his name a reputation. It is literally the estimation in which a person or thing is held, or the notoriety for some particular characteristic. At Ezekiel 48-35, Yerushalayim will have the new name, Yahuwah Shama, Yahuwah Sedeknu, will be proclaimed to her, Yermayahu 33-16. Yahusha's new name is prophesied to become Yahuwah Sedeknu. Jeremiah Yirmiyahu 23.6 In his days, Yehuda will be saved and Yashara will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called, Yahuwah our righteousness. Malachi 3.16-18 Then shall those who fear Yahuwah speak to one another and Yahuwah listen and hear. And a book of remembrance be written before him of those who fear Yahuwah and those who think upon his name. And they shall be mine, said Yahuwah of armies, on the day that I prepare a treasured possession. And I shall spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then you shall again see the difference between the righteous and the wrong, between one who serves Elohim and one who does not serve him. Matthew 10.22 tells us we will be hated because of his name. Yahshiyahu 52.6 tells us that his people shall know his name. Ezekiel 20.39 says there will come a day when his name will no longer be profaned. Blessed is the one coming in the name of Yahuwah. Psalm 118.26. This is quoted by Yahusha at Matthew 23.39. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who is coming in the name of Yahuwah. Malachi 3.16-18. Then those who feared Yahuwah talked with one another, and Yahuwah listened, and he heard. And a, a scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared Yahuwah and meditated upon his name. They will be mine, says Yahuwah Shaddai. In the day when I make up my treasured possession, I will spare them. Just as in compassion a man spares his son who serves him, and you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked between those who serve Allahim and those who do not. Jeremiah or Yirmiyahu 20 dot dot nine. But I, if I say, I will not remember him or speak any more in his name, then in my heart it becomes like a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I am weary of holding it in, and I cannot endure it. Jeremiah, Yirmiyahu 23, 26 through 27. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to, their, to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgot, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. Baal Hebrew definition L O R D. Psalm twenty three one. 
Yahuwah, not L-O-R-D, is my shepherd. I shall not want. Invoking his covenant name, Yahuwah declared that the Yahudim would not utter his name. Jeremiah, Yirmiyahu 44, 24-26 Hear the word of Yahuwah, all you people of Yehuda in Egypt. This is what Yahuwah Shaddai, the Elohim of Yasharal, says. You and your wives, are Ashas, have shown by your actions, making cakes, pouring drink offerings, and burning incense to Asherah. What you promised when you said, we will, we will certainly carry out the vows we made to burn incense and pour out drink offerings to the Queen of Heaven, Asherah. Go ahead then, do what you promised, keep your vows, but hear the word of Yahuwah. All Yahudim living in Egypt, I swear by my great name, says Yahuwah. That no one from Yehuda living anywhere in Egypt will ever again invoke my name or swear as surely as the sovereign Yahuwah lives. Next time we will be do we will be reading um, who or what are you toasting to? And they want to stop this thing. Um, and that's probably all we will be able to get through. Possibly we will be able to read um, transliteration different from translating in our next our next study. <laughs> Roscoe, it's just thunder. <laughs> Roscoe. Oh. I apologize for the barking. <laughs> Roscoe, enough. Shh. Okay. And now it's time to praise Yahuwah. Torah Rabbah Abba Yahuwah Torah Rabbah Abba Yahuwah Hallelujah Hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No trap from the wicked shall prosper. No snare from the devil shall prosper. I love you all so much with an everlasting love as our Abba Yahuwah and the Shamayim loves each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and truth. And Ibertov.